I wish there was like an archive of those. And then like the, I wish there was a book that you could buy, a little pocket book that and just then had the, this archive of these old Southern. Dude, they got well. They all fucking swap them, and they yeah. like think they're the ones that came. Like I worked in that convenience store in college. You would always have old men like say the same lines. Can you look some up, Tony? While we're talking, uh, old, uh, Southern colloquialisms. Oh, that's what they're called. Colloquialism. Colloquialism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Uh, they, these old men would come to the gas station and they would all have the same jokes. Like they hand you a hundred dollar bill and you go to market and they're like, I just pulled that one off the press. <laughs> Uh, you know, every and then they all think, I made that up. Right. It's like, no, you didn't, motherfucker. Every yeah. like, you're the 10th guy that said that today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or like, uh, my dad at restaurants, and all old men have these like lines. It's like, uh, can I get you anything else? My dad'd be like, uh, you can get us a wheelbarrow to get us fuck out of here. Oh, right. <laughs> like, we're yeah. full as a, I'm full as a tick. That's a big one, full as a tick. Oh, my God. Uh, have you ever heard? They're when, all the same. Have I've you ever, heard all these a million times. Have you ever heard like when you're looking for something and you can't find it, but then you find it and it was close by? It's like, oh, it just, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. Oh, you ever yeah, heard that? Yeah, yeah. That's a big one. I like yeah. that one a lot. Uh, yeah, if it, just, if it was a snake, it'd a bitch. I've said that at the airport before. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. <laughs> <laughs> He's as drunk as Cooter Brown. I've heard that one. What? Yeah, she's That's as happy Cooter as. Brown. She's as happy as a dead pig. She's happier than a pig in shit. Or uh, she's as happy as a dead pig in the sunshine. Yeah, That's what I would say. yeah. She she's madder than a wet hen. I've heard that one. Madder than a wet hen. You're lower than a snake's belly in a wagon rut. <laughs> I've been running all over Hell's Half Acre. Oh, that means busy. That's fun. I like that they have the uh, yeah, yeah. the decoding yeah, on there. I've been the... running all over Hell's Half Acre. That's yeah, fun. They have the, the definition. That's great. Um, is there more? I could read. We could read these together yeah, for seven yeah, hours. Yeah, these are great. Southern Saint. Dr my druthers. <laughs> you won't hear anywhere else. Heavens to Betsy. Are they gonna get? Oh my god. Oh, bless your heart. Full as a tick. Full, Full as a, a tick. tick, you're right. If I had my druthers, my druthers. Yeah, if I've, I've heard that before, if I've had my druthers. I oh, got a sure. hankering for something, tore up. This is a terrible list. It's not bad. These are, I re remember. Mine could. I got, yeah, mine could. <laughs> I, got a, I got a hankering for a tomato sandwich. That was the example. <laughs> Have you ever had a tomato sandwich? It's just, it's just water and mayonnaise. Dude, it's just <laughs> white bread with uh, like a fresh garden tomato, mayonnaise, mm -hmm. and you salt and pepper the shit. Up. Mainly, pe you want pepper for sure. Salt's option. Salt and pepper on that fresh garden tomato. It's funny that Thick that's slice. considered a southern thing because I would also consider that just a poor thing. That's like, yeah, maybe. I, well, that's a lot I of I did that when I was a kid and I didn't have any money. I couldn't well, go buy food. I would just eat yeah. a tomato. Well, that's a lot of like, you know, just putting cornbreads and pinto beans. That's like probably a poor person food, but like we love it in the South. Yeah. It's great. I've never had that. Yeah, it's good. Like turnip greens too. When's the last time? Two, what's that? Two t a two tailed cat in a room of rocking chairs. I can't get no suction. You can't. Oh, it's probably here. Yeah, I tried to stab, but I sucked at it. Don't pay him no mind. That dog won't hunt. Yeah, that dog won't hunt. That's <laughs> what great. The hell does that mean? You can put your boots in the oven, but that don't make them biscuits. <laughs> That's, that's a new that, one for you, dude. Yeah, that's great. Because I've heard put similar your boots in the oven, but that don't make heard, them biscuits. Yeah, that's great. Well, I've heard like you can put a uh, you can put a, you can put a flower in an asshole, but that doesn't make it a vase. <laughs> <laughs> My friends are probably if anybody listens to this, are probably like yelling super good ones at their yeah, podcast. Hell yeah! I wish, dude. I wish we had them on. Nervous like a whore in church. That's a classic one. Nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> I like that one, dude. Oh, uh, dude, I could call a construction worker buddy and get him to say one on speakerphone. That would be That'd fucking be awesome. Is right, he gonna answer? Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, Miles is about to get off work. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, he usually he usually calls me when he gets off work. He's probably about to call me in an hour. Is this? Can you hear that? I think it's big. Hey Miles, uh, you're you're on a podcast with me and Taylor Gore. Uh, we were talking about Southern sayings. Can you hit me with a couple that you've heard? Just think about. Yeah, I've probably said some that you would like. I've said, you know, if I was any better, I'd be twins. Uh, you know, the one that. Yeah, I'm hanging in there like hair and a biscuit's great. <laughs> like hair and a biscuit. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Yeah, he's literally at the machine shop right yeah, now. He's just like taking this call with a cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can hear you. You're fine. Yeah, it is loud. Uh, hit me with hit me with another one. 
Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. Uh, I feel like you're now. I don't have any uh, uh, shit. What? Slicker, are you a slicker now shit? Slicker now shit. Slicker, you come on a gold tooth. <laughs> <laughs> slicker than come on uh, a gold tooth. Yeah, that's great. All right, buddy. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Right. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Call me when you get off work. All right, love you, bye. That's awesome, dude. Is that like your roommate or something? Uh, he was like my fraternity brother, and we started, we kind of started comedy together. He started a couple months after me. We would, before I started doing comedy, we would always go to shows together. Uh, we'd go to Zany's Nashville, and then when Stand Up Live Huntsville opened, we started going there. And then I started comedy. He started a couple months after. He hosted, when we did this last run, me and Matt, Matt Banwart, it's Miles Nesbitt. He's a very funny comic. Uh, he hosted. Sounds familiar for sure. He hosted. Uh, he yeah he hosted the show that we did at Singing River Brewery in Florence. But he's just a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's like all my a lot of my you know we're very different. He's like he likes to hunt and fish and shit. But he you likes. You guys are just like a gang of Southern dudes. Yeah yeah, but I was the nerdy one, you know. 